So I went on Facebook and I said, who's, who's voiced it? Who's not voiced the dragon that should have? And uh, someone said David Bowie, which was wonderful. So I went looking and I found all these early interviews with young Bowie from the 60s and 70s where the British press at the time are a bunch of like stodgy old snooty people who have no respect or liking for the young rock stars. And they're so snide in that wonderfully British way. And Bowie is sitting there smoking cigarettes and responding to these really rude questions. And you can tell he's getting angry, but he never, ever, ever is anything less than polite. But as he gets angrier and angrier, you can just see the, the, the bar going up and he's, and he's smoldering and smoke is coming out his nostrils. And I was like, oh, my God, that's my dragon right there. So every time I had to write the dragon, I would watch a clip of David Bowie get needled by the British press. And then I would write in that voice. <laughs>